VR. Guns. VR guns. They're awesome, but you can't actually feel like you've just shot a gun. The little vibration just isn't enough. And that's where this new project comes in. This is Project V-Coil, the recoil simulation wrist mount that I made recently. Basically, it's split up into two different sections, the piece that actually straps to your wrist and the waist mounted pack, which is for the battery and electronics to keep it light when it's actually on your wrist so it's not a hindrance when you're playing your games. Basically, the system works by just quickly actuating the body of a solenoid to give you the feeling as if you're actually shooting a gun, or at least that's the dream. I think it kind of works, but you'll have to judge for yourself. This system simply straps to your wrist and connects to your PC, and that's as simple as that. You're ready to go, or at least that's the dream. Currently, the system only functions inside of a Unity simulation and does require a wire connection, although this will change with the introduction of an ESP32 board, but we'll talk about that later. Now, technically, it does function, which is absolutely great, but it has a few issues, as all prototypes do, other than the fact that it looks like absolute crap. This isn't my first try at making this. This is actually the sixth prototype of the system. Now, it kind of boggles my mind that it took five tries just to get here, but you know, you try, you fail, then eventually you get to a success. Anyways, we're here now, so that's what's important, and we have a working prototype. So let's take a look at these other five prototypes that I spent uh, probably way too long on, but it might be interesting just to see exactly what went wrong with all of these different attempts. This was the first prototype I ever made. The original idea was to have a cord that led from your shoulder to your wrist that was simply pulled by a servo to emulate a gunshot. Now the first prototype was just to get my ideas out in a more physical form and it had a whole flurry of issues that ranged from the fact that the servo connection to the string was crap and well, well basically the whole thing was crap. The second prototype was extremely similar to the first prototype, but it did fix a lot of the main issues that the first prototype ended up having. The only issue? Didn't have a functioning tightening mechanism for the string. The third prototype of the system had a tightening mechanism, and technically it would have functioned, but I wasn't happy with my design decisions. See, the servo I was using wasn't near fast enough to emulate a gunshot, and I realized at that moment that unless I was about to spend near $70 on a servo, this just wasn't going to happen. So I switched gears. I knew what I had simply wasn't going to work, so I did some research and landed on what's called a solenoid. This little thing, when current is applied, actuates this bar at high speeds, so I wanted to incorporate that into the design. So here brings us to the fourth prototype. Now the fourth prototype was actually really stupid, I don't really know why I thought it would work, but it had potential, technically speaking. Let's say the solenoid was like super powerful, it might have been able to do the same thing the servo did. It was made in the same way that the servo design was originally going to work, but after I constructed it, I realized that it had too many issues for it to actually ever function. So then I moved to the fifth prototype, which was basically taking everything that I had mounted to the shoulder and moving it down to the wrist. Now this system worked by using the solenoid to offset the weight of a battery very quickly. Now although this looks like it might work fine, I have to agree, actually it did work fine, but the only issue was you were holding something that was near two pounds on your wrist, about an inch or so away from your wrist, so it would it created a lot of weird torque issues when coming with that design. So I decided to trash it and that brings us to my final and best so far design which is the sixth prototype which currently completely works which is awesome. So this brings us to our sixth prototype. How does it work? Well, currently the system simply functions by actuating a solenoid at very high speeds, and I don't really see how it could be any simpler, although if the system was smaller, that would be absolutely great. Next we have the electronics, which other than the wires is only comprised of two things. We have the MOSFET, which is basically just an electronical switch, and the Arduino that controls said switch. 
This Arduino will later be switched to an ESP32 board so it can have wireless capabilities. Now, for those interested in software, here's a quick explanation on how that side of things actually works. Now, the whole system currently only works inside of a Unity simulation that I made. And overall, the whole thing is actually pretty simple. The Arduino code is just set up to receive data from Unity, and the Unity code simply takes the input of the VR controller and sends a character to the Arduino. Once the Arduino receives this character, it performs an action based on what it is. Currently, the only action is just actuating the solenoid or firing the gun. So this system is extremely simple and works pretty well. So that's that. This is what I've been working on for the past three-ish months or so. If you guys want any of these files or information about the project, please let me know over on the Discord. And by the way, a huge thanks to all of my Patreons. We just passed over a thousand subscribers, by the way, and that's awesome. Thank you so much for that, you guys. And as always, stay starchy and have a good one.